<laughs> I'm coming to see what you're doing, man. It looks great. It looks great. I like it. We're gonna put LS in. We are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We got uh, F100 updates, so let's dive right in and check out the Steve's Fab Shop work. That's pretty amazing. It's a lot better than that big old. Yeah. That looks great. That's gonna save a ton of room. It's gonna even look better when we get this other, the front done. Yeah, 100 percent. So we've done some cutting already up here. Got the mounts cut off. Getting there. And yes, got the coyote and the whipple ready to rock. What are we looking at? They're looking at something out here. Something out here yeah. Well, let's go see what Steve's got back here. Yeah. All right. It's got some potato. What'd you get, Steve? He's the potato life. Huh. Yeah. Well, let's it's go see this thing. thing. What you put in? LS, probably. Yeah, probably LS. Probably LS. Steve, I think you need another trailer. Ooh. Old Falcon, good night. In case you didn't know, it was a Falcon. There you go. Old Falcon, good lord. Yeah, she's had a little body work. Not much here. Wow. Pretty cool. All right. Well, he's gonna have fun with this. Let's go check out the truck. Oh yeah. Hooker. This looks pretty. Hooker's on here. This is gonna look pretty. The question is, are they gonna fit? Oh yeah. What do you think? What do you think, Steve? They're gonna fit? Yeah, I got a plasma coat. So, so far up here, you just cut the mounts off pretty much. The motor mounts? Well, we cut. Oh, no, you've done, uh, you've clearance we, these we and. Clearance them and notched that. Oh, yeah. Cut a big plate out that was right there. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, so you got the coilovers where they're supposed to be now? Probably. But Hopefully. I'll probably change it to you. Yeah. That looks like shit. That's always something. That looks like crap. Yeah, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, you yeah. know. It's part of it. Progress, though. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Money shot right there. All right, which which mount did you end up getting? This is that Crown Vic one. That was a Crown Vic mount. I don't think that's gonna fit. Oh jeez. We may just have to put Mustang mounts on it. Yep. Well, you got to set up them mounts because that burnt the box like ten minutes. That's all right. It might have been an hour. But we burnt the box that two hundred thirty-five dollars. See what this one fits like. I don't think this is gonna fit either. No. No. Not at all. Nope. So, yeah, probably Mustang mounts. Oh well. All right, boys, back at the shop. I know it's been kind of uh, been kind of difficult trying to do updates on the truck because you know it's fabrication work and it's not here. So um, the cool thing is, once Steve gets everything done as far as the fabrication. Um, we'll have back over here. We can set the engine in, wire it, fire it, first drive, all of that. Um, so if you're down, if you if you're here for the F100 content, I'm sorry it's kind of slow coming, um, but it, it is coming. And as you can see, all the fab work and all that stuff's about done. That thing is going to be on the road uh, before you know it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Dover's trying to get it done before Ford takeover. So that will be freaking epic. 
All right, and if you guys caught the last video, I've got uh, Project Two Tone completely blown apart. Uh, engine is in it. Uh, I've got some parts coming from Handling Motorsports this week, and uh, sorry, a little stuffy. But yes, um, Project Two Tone, big progress on it. Uh, she is in line to go uh, over to Nick's and get some paint done, and the wheels are back ordered and. Anyway, yeah, welcome to 2020. Uh, Lee's car. The cage work is pretty well. I didn't, guys, I didn't show you the update on the cage. Uh, it's mostly done. Mostly done. It's all, it's all in. But if you caught the roll cage video, um, this is almost done. And the engine, everything is in. Uh... Pretty much just got to get everything hooked back up, plugged up. We got to reroute some lines and stuff for the Whipple, uh, the cooler lines and all of that. Uh, and then she will be fired up and uh, sent over to Daryl for some tuning, and then we'll put her on the dyno. So that's going to be pretty freaking epic, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm dying. I am dying to see what this freaking thing puts down on the dyno. All right, boys, I've also got... Um, gotten several of you asked what is the update on my car the update on my car is there is no update um i knew when i took the when the car went up there that there was some other cars in line so no big deal not in a rush for it we got a ton of sh stuff going on anyway so that's fine but right over here as you can see my engine and trans and as you guys know, I'm, I'm trying to kind of not go totally crazy, but we're going to do, we're going to change it up and have something cool and fresh for you guys uh, for when the car makes its world debut back, uh, back out into the wild. So yes, trust me when I say I've got, I've got some cool stuff coming uh, for my car and um, definitely going to be changing it up quite a bit. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be cool. I'm not going to let you guys down. All right, boys, that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. Sorry the content's kind of slow. The weather's been crappy, and freaking getting parts is crappy. We're kind of in a holding cycle on several different things, so that sucks. Uh, update on Adam's truck coming. Big update on Adam's truck coming very soon. Uh, you won't want to miss that. That's going to be freaking awesome. So if you're here for the uh, 97 to 03 F-150 Coyote Swap stuff, big update coming for that. Uh, we do have parts from Power by the Hour, so... Um, it's going to be sweet. So that is what is up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. I will catch you on the next one.